So something slightly different today, before I head out onto the hill, I want to talk about this. Some of you will recognise it. It's a three litre camelback drink bladder. And I have to say, I've been using them for years. I am a fan. But there are problems with camelbacks. I keep losing the end. That's happened so many times, it's ridiculous. Uh, you do have the ability to lock the valve off, to stop dripping, that's quite useful, but I think when it's in that locked position, I think that's what's actually pushing the end off my, off my drinking tube. Also, if this isn't sealed properly and you have filled up, you can get leakage, quite a lot of leakage from the bladder there. And with that detachment being at the bottom, that can be awkward when you're rummaging around in your bag and you need to attach or detach your tube in the bag. They're decent, but it's not perfect. The reason I'm talking about that is because I found a new bag to try. I found the Osprey version of the drinking bladder. There are a couple of things that I think Osprey are doing better than the Camelback. First is this solid back. It's not rock solid, it's just a harder plastic than the rest of the bag. Although the Camelback is thicker, material overall this really helps with dropping the bladder into the bag with it staying reasonably solid in your bag i don't know what it's like for running or cycling haven't tried that but certainly for hiking it's great for filling up this is actually so much easier than the camelback because it fills from the top this attached plastic tube slides off plastic tube, plastic clip. There's a carry handle on here, you can hook your fingers in, and you've got top opening. So you can fill that all the way up without the risk of spillage. And I've been using this for a few weeks now and found no issues with it at all. It doesn't look all that solid, but it works magnificently. The top, once you've filled it up, just folds over, slide the plastic back on, you can see I've got water in there, but even upside down, nothing is coming out of that bag. Nothing. It, it is really, really, really good. You can just about see on the side there, built into the carry handle, there's two little, these are a harder plastic, there's a harder plastic loop that the drinking tube, the bottom half of it fits through. So you can slide that through whichever side of the bag you prefer your drinking tube on. The drinking tube, it is attached at the bottom there. Unlike the Camelback, that's not where it detaches. It detaches at the top. And this is so much easier to work with in the bag than the Camelback. You can just reach and, and that makes a world of difference for simplicity of use. And when you're detaching again, out of the bag, clip that off, take the bladder out, do what you need to do with it. It's very, very simple. The bite valve, completely different design to Camelback's bite valve. Very good flow from it. You have to bite a little bit firmer than with the Camelback, but the flow rate is excellent. It's solid. I've had no issues with it moving anywhere. I've not noticed any leakage at all from the bite valve on this. You actually do have to draw on it to, to get the water out. So oh, it seems more solid. It seems better, better thought out really than the Camelback. And that's quite hard for me to say as a Camelback fan because actually I think Osprey might have beaten you Camelback at your own game. The bag I'm using is the Osprey Stratos 36. I'm not a brand loyal sort of person. I've used Osprey bags before, found them really good. I've used Camel bags before, found them really good. I just like functional kit that works well. As far as dropping it in the bag goes, you can see at the top of the bag there, there's quite a useful little clip that actually fits through this loop on here, so it stops your 
bladder dropping too far down to the bottom of your bag. There is a dedicated bladder pocket just in there. So we slide the bladder in. That solid back makes it slide in really easily. I'm hooking it onto the loop because what I've found with a bag of this size is, is actually that holds it slightly up from the bottom of the bag and leaves a useful little storage area at the bottom. The pipe, obviously you want it over your shoulder. So feed it through the strap under, at the back of the bag, just under the carry handle, there is a little slot. So you can have it over either shoulder. You slide that in, go back to the other side. Clip in. We are good to go. The other little feature that I haven't mentioned yet about this uh, drinking tube setup comes with a little magnet clip that fits. <laughs> comes with a little magnet clip that fits on your chest strap the magnet clip just slides onto the drinking tube slide it onto the soft bit i've i've using it down near the end because i just find it more convenient and it stays in place very well so the tube is just there handy all the time on camelback bags that I've used in the past, uh, the tube tends to sit more down here. Uh, and that is where I've been knocking the ends off because arm movement, ultimately it's just taking the, taking the ends off those camelback drinking pipes. I have to say, unless it fails, with the quality that I've seen so far and the usability of this Osprey drink bladder, it's a three litre version I've got. I don't know if I'll be going back to Camelback again. This is a superb bit of kit. It's really, really, really worth the investment. Whichever one you choose, once you've used the drink bladder, you won't go back to using bottles. It's so much easier to keep getting fluid into you as you move across the hill. Whether you're running, whether you're cycling, whether you're hiking, drinking tube is an amazing bit of kit, well worth investing in. Price-wise, the Osprey drink bladder uh, from the, the shop that I went to was sat on the shelf next to other Camelbacks and the difference was minuscule. They were both round about 40 quid. Um, there was maybe a pound or two difference between the two, but for that similarity, I thought I'll try the Osprey. I'm very, very happy with that choice. Very happy with that decision.